Good morning, Mainland Baptist Church, friends and family. We welcome you today again to our 930 Bible Promise and Testimony Hour. And uh, we hope all of you have had uh, a great week, and we look forward to seeing what God has for us here today. Uh, as many of you know, for our Bible Promise and Testimony Hour, uh, again, during this 930 time, we uh, want you to have and, and have some Bible promises, some scriptures ready to go, as today we'll be putting in as many Bible promises that you have, and hopefully you've been clinging on to and holding on to these Bible promises uh, during these times. Also, we have a surprise guest for you today. Some surprise guests are in our testimony time, and I know that it's going to be a blessing and a surprise for many of you, especially uh, who have been uh, here at Mainland Baptist Church for a few years. So hang tight, and we look forward to uh, uh, having this surprise testimony for you. As many of you know, we start off with Blessed Be the Name. Blessed Be the Name, and uh, we're going to go ahead and sing that here at this time. So join in and sing with us here as we We've been starting our 930 Bible Promise and Testimony out with Blessed Be the Name. Let's go ahead and sing it here at this time. All praise to Him who reigns above in majesty supreme, who gave His Son for men to die, that He might man redeem. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. His name above all names shall stand, exalted more and more. At God the Father's own right hand, where angel hosts adore. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. His name shall be the Counselor, the mighty Prince of Peace. Of all earth's kingdoms conquered, whose reign shall never cease. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Wonderful singing. I pray that wherever you are at here today, you were able to join in and sing. And uh, what, a, what a wonderful, wonderful song. Each and every week, he deserves all praise. Truly, truly blessed be the name of the Lord. And I love in that song, all those names it starts going. Wonderful counselor, prince of peace, um, almighty. Just so many, so many wonderful, wonderful Names. So let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer, and then we're going to quickly go over some announcements. Again, be ready to have your Bible promises ready here in a couple minutes. Um, so if you don't have your promises yet, now is your time to get those ready, and then we'll go through some announcements and put those Bible promises in. Let's go ahead, and uh, would you join me in prayer here this morning? Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, um, for your goodness to us. God, we're thankful that we can praise your name. And Lord, certainly you are Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, wonderful counselor, Prince of Peace, Almighty God, and the names and just continue to go on and on. Uh, Lord, we, we thank you for uh, giving us another day here today, another Sunday to come to worship you on your day. Thank you for each one tuning in and watching uh, here this morning. And I pray, God, whether they're watching it now or recorded, that you would continue to protect, continue to, uh, Lord, give us all of that, that, that spiritual strength. God, give us that physical strength, um, Lord, 
and uh, that we would continue uh, to rely and have our full dependence on you. Thank you for our church family and friends. What a joy it is to come together through technology and uh, have this time this morning. Bless this service in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we're going to go through just a couple of quick announcements here at this time. Again, uh, we'll be in the building here at 1040 uh, this morning. Come over and join us. If you're not comfortable, can't make it, uh, feel free to join us online as we continue this month's theme of increase in unity found out of Psalm 133. If you missed uh, last week, feel free to go back and watch uh, last week's messages. We looked at four enemies of unity and then in Sunday night, how to deal with the enemy biblically. And uh, if you miss those, feel free to watch. And we look forward to 1040. And then tonight being in the church building as well uh, at six o'clock for our Sunday night service as well. Also renew daily devotional for you. As many of you know, Monday through Friday, 805 in the morning, opportunity for us to grow and, uh, uh, and get into the word together as a church family. And uh, you can watch these at any time. Again, all these online ministries are available to watch at any, any time. Warriors Men's Ministry, Monday night, tomorrow night, first and third Monday. Looking forward to guys uh, being able to uh, stay plugged in and grow together as men. Uh, join us tomorrow night, guys, 825 live for that. Connect College and Career every Tuesday night uh, as well, 825. Our college uh, and career group, 18 and up, continue to stay connected to the Lord with each other. And uh, tune in. Uh, tomorrow night, any of you with that college and career. Impact, teen ministry every Wednesday night, 825. Uh, again, they've been kind of bouncing around different platforms as they've kind of had to do that, but doing a wonderful job. Um, so any teens, if you're not plugged in, get plugged into the Impact Teen Ministry Online. Chosen, uh, every Thursday night, a encouragement, weekly Bible study for ladies, 825. Again, ladies, feel free to share and invite others out as well. And I've uh, been going over... Uh, identity and how God sees uh, each and every one of you ladies and uh, really uh, been an encouragement here and a lot of great reports on that. So ladies, tune into that uh, on Thursday night as well. King's Kids Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday night, 8.05, nightly bedtime Bible story for children, for families, and uh, uh, feel free again to share this with others as well. And a lot on there. If you missed, uh, there's a lot reported on there. Feel free to uh, uh, give Go back and watch many, many of those King's Kids as well. Spanish ministry in the uh, will be online uh, today and also on Wednesday night as well. So if you know of anybody, again, speak Spanish, feel free to invite them out uh, to join in with that. And then Wednesday night, we'll be back in the building and also uh, on YouTube on Wednesday night, continuing on with, um, with the theme of striving together and picking up on that Bible study again. If you missed last Wednesday, I want to encourage you, don't, you, you don't want to uh, miss that. Go back and watch it. Dr. David Gibbs did a wonderful, wonderful message on us entitled Great Grace, Three Ways to Unleash Great Grace on Your Life. We had a great group on and a wonderful time praying together and then as well as uh, getting in the Word together. So Wednesday, we'll be back in the building. Giving Ways you can give, again, in any of our services, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Wednesday, we take our offering. You can mail in, drop off, or use uh, mainlandbc.com, hit the Give tab, and uh, use that. And uh, we thank the Lord over uh, last week or two, we had a, an increase in our in our tithes and our offerings. So thank you all who have been faithful. We uh, struggled there a little bit in the July and August, but uh, we appreciate um, uh, how God is continuing to sustain us. Let's continue to be faithful and see them the uh, ministries go on, and many of um, uh, our missionaries continuing to be supported as well. Uh, we thank the Lord for your faithfulness in this area. All right, it is time for your Bible promises. Start putting them in right now. What Bible promises have you been clinging to this week or during these last couple of weeks? Um, so many Bible promises, and I pray that you've been continuing to, to just hold on to those Bible promises. I'm thankful in uncertain times, we have a certain Savior. We have God's Word that is certain, and we can continue to hold on to it. So we're going to play a song as we play uh, the song here at this time. Start putting your Bible promises in. All right, go ahead and put them in, and uh, let's see how many Bible promises we can come up with uh, here at this time, and uh, see what we have for our Bible promises. If I 
Thank you for sharing your Bible promises. And again, continue to hold on to and cling to the scriptures during these times. There is nothing greater to uh, cling to during these times than to cling to God's, uh, God's word. As I mentioned earlier, I know some of you are just getting on, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have surprise guests for you today and um, uh, for our testimony time and looking forward to uh, being able to, for you to be able to get to know them more. Some of you know them very well um, and some of you, um, uh, maybe this is the first time you're going to get to know them, uh, but we're looking forward to uh, you being able to hear a little bit more of their story. Uh, and again, during these, this Bible Promise and Testimony Hour, we've had different testimonies of couples, individuals. Uh, we've had testimonies of individuals uh, who uh, have written songs, hymn writers, their testimonies, the message behind the music. Uh, just so many different testimonies that that we've we've heard um, a couple of weeks ago about different individuals who have suffered real persecution, um, and and looked at some testimonies from them. And uh, today we have guests with us all the way from Colombia, all the way from Colombia. Um, obviously, uh, we were not able to all fly out to them, but they were able to fly out here. So I'm going to have them come up here at this time. And many of you are surprise guests today, uh, Don and Carmen Cross. And we welcome you guys. What a nice surprise that this is. We're going to try our best to kind of squeeze in here today and, uh, okay. and, and make, this, uh, make this work. But I think we, I think we got it here. Uh, but so good to have you guys here and back in New Jersey. It's great to be back. It's good to be here. Yes, 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 yes. It's great to be here in the fresh, cold weather. In the fresh, cold weather. That's right. That's right. And uh, Don and Carmen, you guys served here for how many years, brother? Do you remember now? Um, I got saved in 96, so through 2016. Through 2016. So that's... Uh, years amen amen and uh so they're here and you're going to get a chance to hear a little bit more of their story and their testimony today and uh certainly what a surprise that we were able to have you guys here today so we're looking forward to it and um uh i thank the lord for just both of you your life your testimony and certainly god's miracle that he has worked in and through both of you and is continuing to work as well. So let's go ahead and get started. 
And as we start um, our testimony time for different couples and individuals, we always ask your favorite scripture, your favorite scripture. Uh, so let's start with that. I don't know which one of you want to start, but let's hear maybe what your favorite scripture is and why that that's your favorite scripture. My is uh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gives his only begotten son that whosoever believing on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah, a little, can you give us a little Spanish too? Sí. Porque Dios amó al mundo, él dio a su hijo unigénito que todo aquel que en él cree no se pierda, mas tenga vida eterna. So we have eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the, uh, the only one that gives us eternal life. Amen. And that is forever. Amen. Amen. That's a good favorite verse to have. And uh, we're actually going to be singing a new chorus that we're introducing to the church today. Uh, based off of John 3.16. Awesome. So those of you, whether watching online or in the building, uh, that's the chorus. And quite fitting that that is the same verse and that's the chorus that we're going we're gonna to sing today. So that might be something new for you, Carmen, too. We'll oh, see. Is. We'll see. We'll see with this. All right, Bradley, go ahead. Is uh, John 9.4, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day, for the night cometh when no man can work. John 9.4. And, you know, quite simply, it just... You know, it's Jesus talking in John 9, 4. And uh, he's the one saying, it, I I must. So it's like individual. Mm. I I must do it. Must. Necessity. Mm. I, I, I have to do this. Mm. Work. Work means labor, right? Mm. Amen. Mm. When we're a teenager, a child growing up, just doing uh, chores around the house, we consider that labor. And there's different kind of labor as you get a little bit older the works of him and we're talking about capital h for him mm. uh, god the father that sent me he he gave me mm. work to do mm. and guess what he gave you work to do mm. and we all have a limited amount of time mm. we don't know mm. when our time will be up mm. uh, real quickly my uh, sister terry she's the last of our immediate family mm. uh, she's in the acuity center at lenox medical center She's been there since uh, February, and I've been trying to get a hold of her since that time, mm -hmm. unable to. And um, you know what? Her situation has changed drastically, and um, you know, any one of us, uh, same thing could happen, hold true. Because the night cometh when, when no man can work. Our, our work on earth, it'll, be, it'll pass away. Mm -hmm. So, man, it's great to be a Christian. It's great yes. to be saved, to know that I'm going to heaven. So. Let's do some laboring while we can. Mm. Amen. Amen, brother. And you certainly lived that verse out, and I appreciate that. And it's 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 a great, great scripture. And uh, so, as we mentioned, for those of you who know, Don and Carmen served <laughs> here for many years, and uh, God had called them um, back to Columbia, which is Carmen's hometown. And um, and they're there as missionaries, and what a joy it is! I had a chance to visit you guys and be yes, there, and that, that was awesome. That was great. That was great, and I'm looking to looking forward to that again in the future. He's brave. He he rode a moto. <laughs> That's a, like a little motorcycle down the calle. It's dirt calle. And he was. That's right, brother. I was ready to pop some wheelies and all, all right? <laughs> but uh, certainly, certainly was a, an honor to be there and to see what, um, just what the Lord's doing and, and using you guys both there. And, um, but uh, they were here for many years and gave up the comforts of this wonderful country because God had called them. And that John 9, 4 certainly is a verse um, that you have lived out and a great reminder for for all of us. So um, uh, you've, you've been there since 2016 now, is that right? At the end of 2016. At yes. the end of 2016. So 17 and on. And uh, what a joy it is to be able to, again, to have you guys here, here with us today. All right. So you probably want to hear a little bit of their story. It is a testimony. It is, it is miraculous is really what it is, <laughs> as we all are uh, a miracle from the Lord. Um, but um, uh, Don, maybe we'll start with you and you can just share um, how you first came to church, and then um, just just give us a little bit um, of that and how how you got saved, and then we'll just kind of go back and forth and how you guys met, and and here's some other things, and I know this will be a, 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 a just a, something special for all of us here today. Wow, Mainland Baptist Church, you know it's incredible here. You think about uh, we were only here for a short time, 20 years about, 
I think about the people before us, people after mm -hmm. us. But um, God brought me to Mainland Baptist Church through a, through a funeral, a co-worker by the name of James King, which reversed is King James. Amen. Another, <laughs> another good reason to stay with the King James Bible. But um, this friend of mine died. He had a mother-in-law that was uh, a good Christian lady, Anna Scott, and um, came here. Um, God had been working my life, obviously, and he, he brought me in here. Mm. And I remember the funeral service. Uh, by the way, Pastor Bolt, I don't think there's anyone that does a better funeral service to get people to the point of mm -hmm. decision uh, to realize that um, the night cometh when no man can work. So Pastor gave the message, and um, I remember we went out to the cemetery, and uh, the wind was blowing that day. I got saved February 2nd, so it was a few days before. I was at the actual cemetery. That I approached Pastor, I said, and I always wondered, did I call him father, or did I just say Pastor. <laughs> I don't think I called him pastor. <laughs> anyway, um, he said, yeah, we'll get together. And we got together. He came to my house and shared the, the gospel, the Romans Road with me. And I made a profession, trust Jesus, and my Savior, February 2nd, 1996. Mm. And been coming here ever since. Um, it, you know, it, it truly is true that... Um, if you'll honor God, he will honor you. Mm. He'll, he'll give you things that you know you, you're not worthy of, mm. uh, that you don't deserve. Um, it's his mercy and grace. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Don got saved, and then um, you were working in a casino for many years. Yeah. And then um, God had just worked in your heart to, um, that that was it, time to leave the casino. And uh, God had laid that on his heart. And then you went from this job of casino to <laughs> Johnny D's. Johnny D's delivering pizzas. <laughs> pizza delivery guy. Delivering pizzas. You want to talk about a step of faith, <laughs> you know? But you know what? God spoke to you and and he has protected and sustained and and what a just what an awesome testimony. And I remember uh brother Don before you were on staff here. I mean you worked on the bus ministry oh, together. Yes, yes. And uh for years, uh, uh, you would work on Saturday nights till three, four o'clock, sometimes five o'clock in the morning delivering pizza. Yeah. And then he would be here. And if anybody had a good excuse not to be here, it would have been you. But you had a heart for those kids and you knew that God had you um, at church on Sunday and you didn't allow that to stop you. And what a testimony that was in my life being younger, just to be able to see that commitment and faithfulness to the Lord. And for, for years, for years, he was delivering pizza Saturday nights up until whatever time and then being here faithful bus ministry and did that for years. And what a testimony of commitment to the Lord. And uh, truly, brother, you, you are a testimony and example to all of us. Um, and I just thank the Lord that he saved you. And when you got saved, you got saved. And, and, and you knew you needed to forsake the world and turn to the Lord. Amen. And what a wonderful Amen. testimony that, that was. So in that delivering pizza, that's how you guys met. That's exactly right. Isn't that right? Yeah. So uh, I don't know, Carmen, do you want to tell this side or do you want to pick up on this, on how this meeting <laughs> happened she wants me and this, this miracle work, right? And uh, how he was obedient to the Lord and God, God blessed in a great way. I'll, I'll start it off and then you can take it, okay? But anyway, so I was delivering for Johnny D's and it started out as a horrible job. I was making like $20 a day in tips. I mean, that you can't live on that. Anyway. <laughs> Um, things got better and I, I delivered to this one family and the lady, she had a son. I was trying to get him to come out in the church bus and I tried and tried and I don't think he ever really came out, but the lady one night, she had uh, guests over her house, these two other ladies and, um, somehow the delivery order got messed up and I had to go back the second time there. And when I went there, lo and behold, who's there? Carmen. Carmen Elena Castro Madera, that's her real name. Uh, she was there and another lady. And, um, you know, she just, she just was looking beautiful. And um, the host of the, of the house, her name is Cecilia. Now it's you. Cecilia is, is a good friend of mine. She's from Cuba. And um, he knocked on the door 
and uh, I was the person to open the door for him. So, <laughs> oh, that's a lesson so Cecilia um, can uh, say, she recognized him from the casino. And I, um, she said, oh, this is the guy to work in the casino. And both were like, okay. And she uh, took the uh, napkin from uh, the pizza that he brought, the pizza or whatever he brought, forget. And uh, she wrote my phone number and it stuck in his head <laughs> and told him, you got to call her. You have to invite her out to dance. And he said, he did this like... <laughs> so anyway, he called. He called. He called and invited me out. But uh, I don't want to go... <laughs> I didn't want to go out with him. He called a few times and finally I went out with him uh, for lunch. And I'm the first time <laughs> we went out for lunch, he shared the gospel with me. That was um, um, April 4, 2000. Mm. Was the first time I hear from, from Jesus. Somebody just shared wow. Jesus with me. Wow. And I was like 41 years old and nobody in 40 years told me about wow. Jesus. It was the first time. So mm. since that day that I hear about Jesus, um, my life changed completely. Wow. And I never was, I never was the same before. Mm. So just yeah, start to come here to church and I don't understand too much English. And now I'm kind of forget living in South America. <laughs> <laughs> but I served in the uh, bus ministry since 2000 until we left for Colombia. And I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that's perfect. Wow, that's perfect. So the number got slipped over to you, huh? Yes, the number got yes. slipped. You jumped all over that one, huh? Yeah, she put, it, she put it right in my hand. I mean, Lord knows I'm a little slow, so he said, call her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then, uh, so you guys didn't go dancing, but you went to lunch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Very good. And uh, you shared the gospel, and Carmen got saved, and what a powerful testimony that that is. And and uh, that was the best tip I ever got. That life. was the best tip. Wow, wow! Praise the Lord, right there. Yeah. Praise the Lord. What a what a great story and testimony. And you know, the truth is, this is is God has called all of us to you know to tell the world about Him and and to. to to look for opportunities and I'm sure that wasn't easy for you because you knew a little bit of Spanish and Carmen didn't know a whole lot of English right, right. Um, but somehow you still were able to allow God to give you the right words to be able to communicate enough to tell her yeah. about what she needed to do to be saved and um, I always think of those words challenge your excuses and you probably could have had every mm -hmm. excuse in the book to well, there's a language barrier, but he figured out a way and I'm made it happen. And, and he's still figuring out a way. That's right. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I know your Spanish is getting better, bro. Oh, yes, uh, it's getting better. I, 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 don't, I just don't know how much better it's getting. But oh, it's getting I love better. It. I love it. I love it. But what a just a powerful. Now, so that was 2000. So when did you guys get married? 14 months later. 14 months. June 22nd. 14 months yeah. later. And then... Uh, you know, praise the Lord. And as Carmen was coming, she was uh, trying her best to understand, I'm sure, the messages. And and a few years later, we started our Spanish ministry mm -hmm. and started with a little Bible study with a few people. And, and uh, I know Carmen was very instrumental in that. And I'm thankful for our Spanish ministry now as well. But what a just an awesome story of God's grace mm -hmm. and uh, where he brought Amen. Don from. And Don was obedient to the Lord as the Lord called him to to leave uh, the casino and stepped out in faith and left, you know, uh, the, the, the big houses you would think of here and um, the American dream and God provided and uh, later on still provided for you and provided, provided a wife and, and uh, truly God's faithful. Amen. God's Amen. faithful. That's so uh, we, we, we praise the Lord uh, for that. So what a great, great testimony story. And now here they are in Columbia Amen. and uh, serving the Lord there. Um, you know, real quick, tell us about Columbia, where, how things are, are going. I, I, I know that um, uh, God had called you there to help be a church planner and, and to get a pastor and maybe just give us a quick, quick update um, okay. here. So, you know, with the COVID-19, uh, that's been a, a major stall, but uh, Pastor Andres, 
we do have a pastor there in Sensei. Um, he's been able to do also though, is like mode, uh, Facebook Live, these kind of things. And so that's been able to carry uh, preaching through the course of that time. Columbia is a lot di different as far as uh, their strategy for battling the so-called COVID-19. Um, they went to complete shutdown. So they closed the borders, um, even in the local uh, towns and everything. But um, we're, we're now just open back up for church, you know, with all the same type of protocols, distance, masks, the whole deal. And um, so we're thankful for that. But, um, you know, now it's like, we feel like we're starting again. But we find that we, we do have the same people who are coming before. They're, they're still coming. There's a few new ones too. So um, we're, we're excited and encouraged about that. Amen. You know, we just have to, you know, keep on. So Lord's time, it's, it, this thing didn't happen by accident. Like God didn't say, wow, I can't believe that happened. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he knows all about it. That's so right. we have to remember that. And it's all for his glory. Somehow right. we'll Amen. find a way. Amen. Amen. And, um, uh, Brother Don, real quick, just tell a quick testimony of Sean. Um, Sean uh, and how when you first started coming here and oh, and, okay. and, and, and just, just a, a quick deal and then how many grandkids you guys have now. And uh, so... Uh, Almost as many as my gray hairs. <laughs> um, but just quick tell that and, and for some of the people that might not know that story with Sean. Yeah. And uh, while all this transition was going on, God brought Sean into your life and uh, your nephew who now is quote your son and, and what a miracle that is you know if we can't encourage you enough just trust in the lord with all thy heart wow. lean not on their own understanding all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths you know i got saved and i started coming to this church it was i didn't know i was putting one foot in front of the other and um one day looking up front i see the bus kids coming in at that time they, they were in church. They were upstairs in Sean's age group. He was in second grade. And he was, he was up there in, in the front. I was like, that's Sean. I was like, how did he get here? And what happened? He came on a bus. I didn't understand. I didn't know anything about bus. I didn't get it. But he was living in a trailer park, uh, not even with his mother. He was living with uh, his mother, which is my sister, a friend of hers. Anyway, I... I got to meet him and everything that was, it had to be like, maybe it was March or April, but by June I had court order, ordered custody of, of Sean. Mm. And um, for those of you that have been around Mainland Baptist church for a while that know Sean, <laughs> woo, man, he was a fireball <laughs> and he still is to some degree, but praise the Lord. Uh, you know, he, he got saved, trusted Jesus. He was in the Navy for a few years. Uh, he went to Bible college. He was actually assistant pastor. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's continuing. And we have now two, not mm -hmm. one, but two, a boy and a girl. Uh, Liam is going to be four in January. And Lexi was born June 1st of this year. So uh, we're just thankful that we God uh, allowed us, permitted us to come up mm -hmm. and meet our our grandchild but, you know even in the bible you know there there's many times that the heritage uh, the genealogies are not necessarily the direct genealogy and but god's able to do it you know mm -hmm. and it's just like <clears throat> how abraham knew that even if he sacrificed his son that god god's able to do something something that you maybe you can't even think of mm -hmm. So oh, it's, no. it's just incredible. It truly is a miracle. You started coming and I just love that story. And here you are and you see your nephew in second grade up in the front and knowing that he's had some challenges in, yeah. in life. And uh, six months later, who knew that you had full custody of him and just to see the influence that you were not as an uncle, but as a father figure yeah. uh, is just amazing. And to see, you know, where he's at now and a family and kids and, um, where he would be without the Lord, where he would have been without his uncle now 
referred to as as father as well truly truly is a testimony of the Amen. lord so uh, we we praise the lord uh, for that favorite song miss carmen let's start with you favorite oh, joy song to the world. joy to the world yes I it is it. we would many of you know in church sometimes it. we'll say hey pick a favorite song pick, pick a favorite song and and it didn't matter what month it yeah, was it, it was song. joy to the world and 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 i love it something that always remember carmen's favorite song she'd always want to sing that why carmen tell us why would you well, pick that as, as a you... christian we have to have joy especially right. when you waiting for the second coming of the lord that's right that's right to have joy. i love it i love it and uh what a powerful thought to be able to think as a christian you have to have joy, right? And that's what God desires for all of yes. us to have joy. The world has that external happiness, mm -hmm. but, and uh, the, Bible, the Bible talks about, you know, that blessed life, blessed and happy, but uh, the world sees that happiness and, and we realize that's, that's external, but the internal is that joy. And uh, certainly that's, that's what it's all about. Good. All right, brother, what do you got? Uh, it's the whole hymn book, but anyway, <laughs> he makes you narrow it down to one. So I'll go with 203, and can it be? Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's just amazing. God's grace and mercy, you know, like, why? Why did, why did he touch me? Why? Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is he did. And so, you know, one of the early things that Pastor Bolt told, told me, Brother Cross, you know what you need? You need more Bible. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that I, I took to heart and continue to this day. Mm -hmm. That's really the key, getting to know the Lord better. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but it, it's, it's incredible that the Lord loves us so much and that he, he died for me. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, actually says in this verse, and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Mm. Died he for me, who caused his pain? For me, who him to death pursued? Amazing love, mm. amazing love. How can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Wow. You know, it's, it's just incredible. So our short time on earth, and I'm still not starting to understand more and more. Now I'm in the 60s. Brother Mike would let me be in teenagers now. <laughs> he wanted to be in teenagers right, at 55. Right. But anyway, um, believe me, I have all kinds of issues going on these days. So uh, I'm just, I, I am thankful. Um, you know, Carmen and I, some people may look at things as like, wow, what a sacrifice. Listen. Mm. We don't know about sacrifice. Mm. Um, Jesus, Jesus is the one to sacrifice. We're just doing some labor. We have some labor to do. And I just pray that the Lord be glorified, that the spirit work. We see more people get saved. More than anything, that the people in sin say mm. that they'd be turned from darkness unto light, Amen. that they, they'd be awakened from uh, the blindness that, that they had, that I was a part of, that Catholicism. Mm. Oh, my Lord. So, um, we, we pray that you would continue to pray uh, for the people of Sensei more than anything. If, if you would do that, that makes all the difference. Because, really, that's, that's what's in my heart still to this wow. day, is that I just would love to see uh, the church established, growing, thriving, and people turning from darkness to light. Yeah. Amen. And uh, certainly, um, I think, as you mentioned and you asked, that we would all continue to pray. Amen. And uh, I want you, if you don't have Don and Carmen on your prayer list, and specifically uh, this town of Sensei, to go ahead, write that down, add that to your prayer list. Let's be praying that God would continue to do a great work um, that only God can do. Amen. And that God Amen. would continue Amen. to use Carmen and, and Brother Don there, as well as uh, the pastor. What's his name again? Pastor Andres. 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 Pastor Andres. Put, that, put those names down. Let's keep them in prayer that God will continue to provide for their needs, uh, the ministry there, and, uh, and, and let's continue to be faithful and praying. You know, as we just kind of conclude here, Carmen's favorite verse, John 3.16, yes. and certainly um, what God, you know, did for all of us, gave us his only begotten son, and uh, certainly uh, God so loved the world, and it start, yes. we started off today with that verse, God so loved the world, and then Don just ended with his favorite hymn, Amazing Love, right? And can it be amazing love? How can it be 
um, that thou, my God, shouldest die for, uh, for me. And uh, so as we think of that love, are you thankful for God's love today? Amen. It is amazing um, just as, and miraculous to see God's wonderful love. And then to hear that verse, John 9, 4, that you shared with us. And then you also shared, you know, it's worth it to trust in the Lord. Amen. And, uh, and just these scriptures and songs and testimony that we heard here today, I pray that it was an encouragement to all of you here today. So uh, be praying for Don and Carmen in the ministry uh, uh, here. They won't be at our 1040 service today, but they will be at our six o'clock service, yes. Lord willing. That's yes. the plan. Uh, so we Amen. look forward to to, uh, to seeing them uh, as well. Uh, but thank you guys for being here and uh, we love you guys. You and we're truly honored and nice little surprise here today to have you guys uh, have you guys with us. It's great to be home, but we're looking forward to our eternal home. Amen, amen, that's right, that's right. Pastor always says either we'll see you what? Here, there, there or, or, or in the air. Yes. So uh, I'll dismiss you guys at this time okay. and thank you for being great. here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here with us uh, here today. Love you guys. I'm gonna close in prayer. And then um, again, just a reminder, we look forward to uh, seeing everybody here at our uh, 1040 uh, service and then also being in the building. Just a reminder, our Harvest Sunday, our Harvest Sunday uh, got uh, rescheduled to next Sunday. So Harvest Sunday, reminder, we'll have our uh, Bring Your Favorite apple or harvest pie your favorite chili make some chili come on out we're going to be in the backfield have a wonderful time of fellowship hay rides for the kids and looking forward to a great week next week let me close in prayer uh, and then we'll see everybody shortly heavenly father we thank you for just your um uh, lord your perfect plan and this testimony of don and carmen and how they got saved and how you used them here and uh, made an impact and influence hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people's lives. Uh, Lord, and now how you're using them in Columbia. And I pray that you would continue to provide for them, continue to provide for their needs, continue to, um, uh, Lord, give them opportunity and ways to be able to continue to share your truth and your gospel, the same truth and gospel that saved them. And, and uh, Lord, continue to uh, uh, Lord, just, just, just provide for them. Pastor Andres, continue to provide for him. And uh, God, that they would see a mighty and great work done there in Sensei, how people uh, would, as Don had mentioned, come from darkness to your wonderful light. Thank you, Lord, for showing us, God, how you brought us from darkness to seeing your wonderful light. We look forward to being in your house today and uh, continuing on uh, here online, uh, Lord, and focusing on increase in unity. I pray that you would be the Continue the great unifier for all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining, and I look forward to seeing everybody uh, here shortly in the building. Have a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful rest of your morning, and we'll see everybody at 10.